Okay, 30 minute game. Zero increment. Practicing the advanced answer to classical chess in our mantra. Let's um, hit this knight. And again. And again. Gotta be careful because this bishop's attacking this pawn. So it's getting hit twice, so let's just open this area up. Move the knight out dead quick there. Has he got something sewn up? I don't think so. Let's go and castle. Oh, they're moving quick now because they're a bit frazzled about their knight being forked with a pawn. So we just capture, we can defend there, so that's quite easy. Let's just grab here. Let's move this knight out of the way, so let's just grab some more material while we can. I think we can castle now. Okay, looking to not bother about doubling, might as well just attack this knight, reduce down the pieces, attack in so it's on the queen. And let's attack this bishop. Got support with this pawn if he does push the pawn or she. Yeah, Raphael's a, a bloke, isn't it? And again, you've got Rebecca Harris, which is a, a, a bloke. <laughs> Okay, so he's not going for the exchange, he's just a target in this pawn here, in front of our queen. So what's the situation for us? Queen can come here, but it's not really got much dice on. Do we attack the pawn? Make more space in the center. I think attacking the pawns, trying to make more space around, get these pawns out of the center if we can. It does have that poisonous bishop check thing with the queen, but we do have rook supporting. It's going to attack the bishop. Queen's going to defend. I think we can afford to trade down as best possible so far. He's got the pawn. He's got the pawn. So shall we? Let's do this. Target in here. Obviously, this pawn is dropping. Yep, this pawn is dropping. Let's shall we attack the queen, see if he's exchanging. It's looking like he's going to do a merry dance. We can't take the rook because the rook supported, so there's no meat on the bones really with it. So he's doing a merry dance. Um, I think developing the knight or maybe looking to cause some trouble here or here, blocking the pawn. Oh, he's looking to take my queen off the board. He's beating me to the punch, is he? We come here, attacking the bishop. Bishop moves. Bishop moves, we take the pawn. Okay. Bishop moves, we can take the pawn here, can't we? And we 
do have like a two on one here with the bishop. So the knight could attack and attack the rook at the same time. But are we falling into some situation? Knight could take the bishop as well. Queen takes, queen takes. Don't want to get too arty, but I mean, attacking a higher piece is usually better, isn't it? Yes. Let's attack the rook. Okay. Move there a bit swift, didn't you? It's like he expected that. Okay, right. I feel like I'm falling into a trap. I don't. Ooh, don't look good. So we do have options. We can come here. We can come here, attacking their rook. But then his rook comes and attacks our knight, so the knight can't move. Hmm. To go here is just going to chop the pawn on us. Okay, let's just bring it here. And now my knight is trapped, actually. Oh, gosh, I can't come back here. Oh, damn. And then he just has to drop this pawn to stop my bishop from protecting the knight. That's a, I'm going to have to bring a rook here, aren't I? Take the pawn. Oh, sad times. I'm going to have to bring a rook here. Oh, no, actually, hold on, hold on. I've got a two on one. I've got a two on one. Queen's protecting the pawn. Whew. Okay, so it's still moving quick. Move the knight, protect it, this pawn, then I still, I'm still trapped, you know. How is this possible? I'm still trapped. Oh my days, I'm going to have to give the piece up. Oh, so he's got the knight back after all that. Oh, sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Can you believe that? Let's attack the bishop then. We're going to have to do a bit of a counter attack situation. The knight's gone. And the bishop just has to move. So we're going to have to just keep bothering the queen. Well, bother the queen for a second. But the queen is just going to take the knight off the board. Damn it. So are we pawns up then or something? Or just one pawn up after all of that? Oh, damn it. Let's move the bishop. I'm gonna take here beyond the queen. He's got a two on one here with the pawn. We've got this sights here if the queen moves off of that line. I think he's just going to come here to attack the knight. Or there, whichever. Yeah. Yeah, so he doesn't want my knight coming here again. Oh, what happened there? Damn. Knight's got no protection, so we need to sort that out. That pawn's gone. Could bring the knight back here, couldn't we? Still got no protection on it. Going backwards. Just take, queen takes, queen takes. No, that don't look good. Okay, let's go here. Trying to keep the advantage I've got, and it just seems to be dwindling away. We have still got the minor piece up, but the position is not comfortable. It's got a two on one. Oh, I, I thought he was going to take this. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go opposite the queen. 
If he had a two on one there, his rook could have just taken the pole. This is what I'm saying, the position is not good. Even though we've got the minor piece up. So it is the advanced answer section, so we're trying to bring everything that we've learned so far into this game. That is the focal point for me going forward, it's looking at the game that I am actually playing now. Utilise the others as references, yeah. but the game now is the game now, it's, he's realised that he's got a 2 on 1 on the pawn, so he's come back again. Develop the knight. But again, it's got no protection on it. Just keep pushing. Any, any way of getting this queen off? No, just keep pushing then. Past pawns want to be pushed. It's more annoying to the opponent. It's anno annoying to me. <laughs> Excuse me when it happens to me. And they just keep just pushing the pass pawn, pass pawn, pass pawn. So it must be annoying to the opponent if we start doing that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so what's happening here now? Is there some sort of back rank thing going on? I have to look at the rhythm of the knight takes. I'm on his queen. Then his. Knight takes him on his queen and protecting this pawn. Bishop's protecting this knight. Queen's not squeezing down here. If he does take with his rook, is there some sort of rhythm? Rook taking this even. I can't see it at the moment. Queen is down. Could come here with the knight. I'm looking at this rook's not there. So got an X-ray through. Is there any back rankers for us? Oh, excuse me. He looks like he's got something, don't he? I don't know. Is his rook coming down here? He's targeting our rook with his queen. So is he trying to get rid of something? I'm gonna attack the queen in the meantime. Not many spaces for it to jump back to it's jumping here or going to here for a fall. I think we'll probably see that. This queen probably coming here, isn't it? Oops. And the knight, well, the knight can still go there because the bishop's supporting that square. I need to stop doing that. I'm going to make a yeah, so it's blocked that there, but it's not blocked in a sense. So we can go and attack one of the rooks. Because, like I said, the bishop's protecting this square. So, which rook do we take, or are we taking the rook at all before we go jumping in? I think we take the one in the corner because then that sends that other one into the corner, and the queen is actually on that square. If he decides to take it, doesn't have to. We might be getting checkmated before we know it. Nope, can't see it just yet. It's pushing down. That wasn't expected. So, what do we have to do? I think there's a situation where we get the queen off the ball because we've got the x ray through to the king. 
supported by the rope and I think we can simply just take that off there now it doesn't mean we've won anything because he still has I'm going to put in the check on first okay let's start pushing So if we keep this rook on the back, there's no back rank checkmate threats from his rook. I'll just keep pushing. Don't really need to keep pushing, but you know. And push again. And let's attack this rook now. So he's got the knight, but we've got a queen. He does take. I'll just put a check on the king. There we go, another check. Another check. I suppose in a way just take here check and mate okay very smooth game indeed a little bit tricky in certain parts but kind of developed it a little bit going forward attacking focusing targeting Nothing major really, just a nice steady game. Let's just go here, just have a look, make sure. So again, we're looking for the major dips, things to maybe we can work on. So we attack the knight, and then we attack it again. Ordinarily, I would, you know, I'd say, well, don't bother attacking the knight, but if they're going into certain positions, and then you're aware of positions, uh, like this pawn was going to be attacked and this is not like a usual position so it's the type of thing I probably would have would end up in playing over the board because I would be saying right I'm just attacking everything so I'm quite happy we did this but then in the back of my mind I'm thinking okay we did lose a bit of tempo actually developing other pieces because we're just pushing pawns but if you have a look the opponent hasn't developed any of their pieces either. So then the knight comes through. Um, I was a bit delayed with the pawn pushing up and brought the bishop through here. And I think maybe I think I moved too quickly because really and truly the pawn push, the fork was there for me, available. So I think I should have spotted that one move earlier. So that's a key takeaway. Don't be focused so much on king safety and all that. That's what I was worried about. You know, when I've done the pawn moves, it was like, oh, well, maybe I'm not going to get castled and they're just going to come blasting down. But have to look at what the opponent does. And the opponent made the knight move, which allowed us to get the fork on. So if they hadn't have spotted that, then they would have got away with that by moving one of their knights out of the way and we would have lost the fork. Okay, so we'll take advantage here and just keep snapping pieces up. I'm just looking for major dips because we're not perfect by any means at all. So this is why we do evaluation. So we come through, attack the knights, and then we take the knight. So at this point, we were saying we can just trade down now because we are a minor piece. So it doesn't necessarily mean we're doing the right thing. Okay, so we captured. Doesn't really like that pawn move, but we're just capturing it anyway. And we're just taking pieces off the board. And attacking. Developing the knights. Yeah, now this area here, I mean, it felt okay, but then I think there was something missing. So I just want to see what actually 
if it was done as best possible. So we captured because my knight was trapped. I didn't I didn't really like that. Okay, so that's come there. And we bring the queen back. Gage bar still on our side, so okay, happy to happy as Larry. And so we flip that there like that. And then it can uh, Now it comes down. Then we decide to actually attack. Oh, so it didn't drop down at all. Really? It's quite happy with that. It obviously knows the knight is trapped. Good. Then we get a plus six somewhere. Alright. Okay, so it's not dipped at all. It's gone up. X-ring through. Yeah, it's at this point I was thinking, oh, I don't know, I'm not too sure, I'm not happy with the position. And then we said, well, pass poles want to be pushed, just push them. So this continuation was going to work in our favour, but we have to be still careful. And then we realised there's going to be a fork on the rooks. So again, gaining a bit more advantage. I don't think there should be any slips now at this point. Yes, so that's all pretty straightforward stuff. Okay, fairly smooth game from start to finish. Them are the types of games you want, although maybe not so much the night movement going around, even though it was showing advantage and then you're getting it trapped. At least we had the concept to say, okay, well, we need to attack another piece then of theirs with a lesser piece to try and uh, equalize the situation. Obviously, it wasn't equal, we were in advantage, but when you're playing the game, you don't see the gauge bar, and it is a struggle sometimes trying to find those better positions. But advanced answer to chess, consolidation of everything that we've done so far. Um, we look to keep continue practicing.